The Dublin Hellhound starts off with d4. Let's play d5. Okay, knight f6. Very non committal move. Ah, going for the London system. Okay, let's get the bishop out first. Been trying a different idea against the London system here again. And let's uh, lift the pawn up. We will see the idea shortly. Oh, he's going to just go for my bishop. Let's drop it back and put it there so it opens up the uh, the rook file. I'm okay with this. This looks good. If he moves the bishop back, I can take the pawn, so he has to trade. And that uh, brings his knight out. So I guess I'll castle queen side and uh, try and get something going over here. Looks like he will try and get something going against my queen side. So let's uh, park this knight over here. Looks like a good square. And then push that... Um, Push that G pawn forward. Still threatening to take on H2 if he moves the knight away. If he plays H3, I can play G4 anyway. Let's take one second to stop that pawn from coming any further. Take a move out. So he's lifting up his rook. Uh, looks like he's going to play very directly with rook here. Can I do anything about that? I can wait for him to place his rook there. I can play the pawn forward, and if he takes on Passant, the knight can come there. plays this pawn forward, I can take it. If he sacks the bishop, it might be trouble, but let's just push on ahead with my own attack. Sometimes you gotta get your counterplay going as a way to meet this kind of attack. Aha! Uh -huh. well, let's just take that. Uh, so now he's, he's gotten rid of the knight, so I can't play um, the move I had planned. But this knight, I have this knight now. I mean, the knight was on, uh, the knight I was talking about was on d7, and I was going to play g5 and knight to g6. But now I have uh, this move. Defends, defends g7 and um, hits the queen. Or is this better? It's a little safer here. It can't get chased away very easily, and it securely defends uh, g7. The other move looked more forcing because it was hitting the queen, but um, that's just silly. That's just silly. Uh, okay, so we gave up the... Um, he gave up the uh, rook for two pieces, basically. Now, what is continuation is here? Old Dublin Hellhound. I'm taking here with check. So he probably has to take the rook. Then we'll have queen and rook versus queen and bishop. Ah, 
Oh, he ran away. Okay, so let's see what to do here. Let's just drop back and chase that clean away. <clears throat> he does have a check here, but I can I can walk away with my king. <laughs> I want to keep my rooks connected. I want to bring the rook over here and take his bishop. He has this pawn I have to worry about too. So let's see, he pushes the pawn, I take the bishop, he takes here, I take back. And it'd be queen and rook versus queen and rook, and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, and I'd be a pawn up. Hard to say, but I have the idea of taking here. Yeah, let's take that bishop then. And I'm taking here with check on uh, g2. Okay, that's interesting, I have to admit. <clears throat> so I'll take here, he gets a queen. Then I go take here, he gets a queen. I go here or here, here, to threaten mate. And that he doesn't get a check then. Tricky, tricky. Oh, he doesn't get a check anyway. He's going to be on a light square. So I don't see how he defends this. <clears throat> yeah, he did get a check. But that's mate there, so, uh, and he can't defend it. <laughs> so the Dublin Hellhound has been sent back. Oh, we can defend it. Me, oh my. Well, first let's trade off the uh, rook. Then let's, um, well, let's give a couple more checks. Ah, <laughs> he couldn't do that. <laughs> That was funny. He had to go uh, to go to the analysis board. He had to go had to go here. And then I was thinking of bringing my queen back here and just uh, winning with the extra pawns. One, two, three, four, five, six versus three. So I've got three extra pawns, and my king. You know, <laughs> maybe it looks like it's in a funny position here, but uh, looks like I've got all the checks covered. Anyway, uh, any, any game where I defeat the London system is a good game, so I'm going to upload this and uh, do a postmortem, and I will see you guys later. Bye.